Hey guys, it's Demon BK, and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 3 on the PC. In this gameplay, I'm going to be using the VMP on the map Infection, and this is going to be a 70 and 5 nuclear. Uh, I'm using Overdrive, which is a rarity. I don't even know why I've got this on. I can't really remember what happens in this gameplay. I'm going to be cutting it up, obviously, because I'm not going to talk for the full duration. But this is an older gameplay that I've had on my hard drive for a little while now. So, yeah, I, I haven't really got any new recorded games on Black Ops 3. I've got live stream highlights, but I don't really want to use those on the the channel unless I locally record at the same time as uploading to to twitch like streaming because the quality that you have to use to stream uh, with the maximum bitrate of what is it 3500 uh, bitrate for for twitch it's yeah it's not the greatest for YouTube it just doesn't really translate so uh, that's uh, a bit disappointing there so I've figured it out so I can locally record and hopefully we'll get some newer game plays in there in the next few days so yeah, as we all know, I've been streaming. I've put up a, a few little link videos now and again when I'm streaming on here. I really don't know whether I should take the plunge and just stream on YouTube. I don't know how well it goes down. It just looks a bit confusing when I go into the, the live streaming options on my channel. I, I don't know. Are you interested in watching live streams on here? Or should I just keep it on Twitch and keep it separate? Let me know down below. I really enjoy live streaming. I think it's cool to have that, you know real-time interaction um, so yeah that's awesome and also now that my my internet upgrade has gone through we can all play together like if you want to jump into a party I can do that my internet is is able to do so it's really weird as well for for the longest time I haven't been able to pull host on say Modern Warfare to Steam uh, the Steam version because my internet was shocking now I'm live streaming and pulling host it's the weirdest like combination so yeah, I'm really enjoying the, the new internet, and I hope you guys are enjoying the stream and stuff. And also, I hope the quality of this video comes through. It's only going to be 720p, because I recorded this game here at 720p 60, uh, and not the full 1080. But I'm going to be bumping up the bitrate a lot on videos, because now I can upload them in a timely fashion. It's, it's freaking awesome. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the content, guys, and there'll be a link in the description going over to my Twitch if you want to watch my, my Twitch streams. I do them most days just after 6 p.m. GMT. So if you want to watch those, as I said, link in the description. So today I had to do the food shopping. I went with the girlfriend, and it was diabolical as always. I hate food shopping. It's just a... Oh, I hate it. Even thinking about it now winds me up. I hate going food shopping. It just it takes the piss. It goes on for ages. Anyway, we we went to Audi and Lidl's, like the you know the cheapo sort of supermarkets where you do get some quite good deals. And we were walking through, and they always catch me out. Anyway, I'm walking down the middle aisle, and they always sell you just garbage, like not just food stuff in there, but they sell you like hubcaps for for cars, you know, hoses for your garden. I really want a hose for. For some reason, I don't even have plants to water, but I really want a fucking hose for my garden because I've got the, the faucet or the tap outside that can have a hose directly connected to it. And I'm like, I just want to put a hose on it. I don't have any real reason into it. But because Audi or little one of those, whatever it is, was having a sale on garden stuff, I really want to get one. And yeah, they always catch you out on those sort of really stupid stuff. So after we've done all our shopping in there and nearly wasting all the money on garbage we came to the checkout and lo and behold there's always one person at the the checkout and 50 people trying to squeeze through it and it just it drives me insane why is that why is that there's that many people you have all these checkouts with no one in them just fill them please well anyway the the lights started going off in this store flickering on and off we were in the queue and then all the checkout started to say you know checkout four is now open checkout three is now open so everyone sort of beeline to it and these two irish because i'm in ireland two older irish people and if you're from ireland you you'll get this they're quite stubborn irish people and they were not in the queue behind us or nowhere really and they just sort of beelined the second that the checkout was open as she beelined, this younger girl came running in and said, no, you can't do that. We've all been waiting here. You know, you got to go to the back. And they were completely ignoring it. I've never seen anything like that. If someone is screaming, because this girl was screaming. If someone is screaming in my face, you need to go to the back. Everyone else was here before you. 
you would react or you would look back behind you. They didn't. They just like straight faced it all the way through. I've never seen the resilience of those sort of people in my life. Like they were just standing there and they were just like staring at her, just waiting for her to, you know, shut up and get <laughs> her stuff off the, the checkout. It was absolutely crazy. I've never seen anyone just sort of straight face, like straight through an argument like that. It was absolutely crazy. And I've never seen anyone go so nuts in a supermarket. And then we all sort of beelined over. And we were behind this argument that was happening. And then the, the checkout came up and said, you know, cash out four, or check out four, sorry, is now closing. We just got here. We've just started putting our stuff on there. So we moved away. And as we're moving away, someone came out of the fucking door, or like a, a side door, went straight over to check out four and started serving people. I was like, what the fuck? Now we've missed out. And now I'm right at the back of the queue. And I have to be in there for another half now. I, I literally was losing my shit. And I just could not wait to get out of that place. I hate littles. Just, you know, have people on the checkouts the whole way through. You pay them, what, 11 quid an hour? It's it's nuts to me. What do they do? Do they just sit in the back and play cards all day? I was literally getting furious. So, yeah, that was my shopping trip today. I never want to go back to that place, but, you know, as it always is, I'm going to have to go back there next week, and I'm probably going to have to deal with the exact same bullshit all over again. The mundane trip to the supermarket.